stuffed up right now, not gonna lie, you're pretty excited. Nice and wet. Nice and wet, very poopy out. Uh, <clears throat> rained all night. Right now we're just, we got a moderate sprinkle going on, so it's really not too bad. Uh, we got a, a bunch of new Dave Smiths that you watched us on box on the last one. They're brand new, they're about to get broken in the mud. Uh, but a snow goose slash speck feed uh, with a bunch of ducks in it. So this weather, Alex, uh, the owner of Flatland, by the way, if you guys want to book a hunt here at Flatland, if, you, if you've been kicking around going on a guided duck hunt, this is the place to go. South Dakota, it's no joke, late October, best time. But anyways, big snow feed, you know how we get pretty excited about that. 50% of the white were uh, grays, juvies, young birds, dumb birds, hopefully. So uh, we're gonna get to work here, probably have to put down the camera, we're gonna be back in the rain. You guys are glad the waterfowl season is back and you've been liking the video, smash a thumbs up button for me and old P. Diddy. Uh, we got a long four months ahead of us, brother. You're nodding your head again. We yes, can't we hear you. <laughs> yes, Bob. This is we do have. We do have a look. Cut. <laughs> look at the look at the steam rolling, dude. It is. Uh, it's just misting now, and it's really humid. It got real humid out. I have way too many layers on the old duck thermal. Yeah, look, that is not rain. That's sweat. Uh, just want to tell you guys before we get going, you guys have been asking about this hat. Uh, November 4th, I believe. November 4th. Uh, somewhere right around there. November 2nd or 4th. Um, this hat, all of the thermal old school hoodies are back, boys and gals. The Blades thermal hoodies, uh, they're a new one. Uh, lots of new stuff dropping. So you guys have just been asking about, mainly about this hat and the uh, old school thermal hoodies they will be back in stock but i will urge you guys to get them while they last because they go quick the, dude those old school anything old school just yeah just out the door so i know these hats they're gonna go quick too we didn't get a bunch yeah, of them, i didn't so. even get one of the old school what these the last one the thermal hoodies yeah. oh yeah you didn't we ran out before i could even get you one i know so get them while they last uh use code bob bob at checkout save yourself some money um, but we're set up, waiting for the boys to get here. Uh, we got Federal in the blind with us. I didn't even know that Federal was here. Y'all know that I am partnered up with Federal Ammunition as well, as well. They supply me. You guys always ask about shells. Federal does sponsor me, and I am... That's what I... Dude, look at these. Uh, Black Cloud 3-inch number twos. Yeah, one thing about the them is they've been in the business longer than anybody. Everybody will talk about these other brands. All these new ones. And I'm not saying the new ones are bad. Yeah. No. Go ahead. Federal has been there, done that, tried it. They're like, R&D. They have tested, tried everything. If you want a reliable shell, go with somebody who's been doing it and been in the game the longest. And that would be Federal. But All right. Let's uh, wait for the sun to come up. It's going to be low light. We're going to be f trying to capture everything we can. Hopefully the lenses don't get smoked with the uh, rain that might come. Hopefully we shoot a snow or five or 50. Yeah. Morning guys, uh, we're up here at Flatland Flyways again. Um, second morning, it's raining, drizzling out today. Um, we're kind of hunting a mixed feed, had some snows in here, some specks and quite a few ducks. Um, we're hunting out of panel blinds this morning. And uh, by the way, my name's Austin Kaufman. Um, I've been working up here the last two years, been guiding around the country for the last seven. And um, you guys are hunting with me and Alex today and Preston and Bobby. So hopefully you guys enjoy and we shoot some birds. Dude, was that wild? P pretty. It's this weather, they see these spinners and they just bomb them. Um, good dog. Yeah, Austin. Austin, the, Austin the retriever, look at him. He's one heck, heck of a dog. Uh, that was cool. That was really cool. So plan is to get the duck hunting out of the way uh, early and, and then uh, pull the spinners, like Alex said and uh, try to smack some geese around, but 
Boy, how do you can't beat that? Oh boy. One landed. There's two more in the decoys. We didn't. <laughs> is this cute? This is a blast. Awesome. Oh my goodness. Nice. One more, one more, one more. Well, that's wild. What time is it? I don't know. I don't know either. Let me see. Uh, eight, eight o'clock. Uh, it's been shooting light for not even 30 minutes and we're destroying them. Clobbering them. Uh, he gave me some tungsten. Goodness. Unbelievable, isn't it? Dude. We're smashing them. Yeah. Fantastic. That last uh, Drake. I'm surprised there's anything left of that guy. <laughs> Not funny, but the shells, they slap. Oh my God. Good shot. Getting some good action over there? Trying to, yeah. It's harder to film at least. I don't know if you can hear that. A lot of snow geese got up. Do we want to pull the spinners or? No, they're just. No? Gotcha. That's a bunch of. That's a bunch of white birds. Single decoy. Okay. <laughs> That tungsten. Is that you, Brian? Yeah. No. That was it was me. Bobby. It was Bobby tungsten. Woo! Dude. She slaps. <laughs> oh, you're loving it. That's we're gonna shoot. Kill him! <laughs> Woo! Well, I'm done. I am limited out and done. Right here, get ready. Left, on the left, it's landing. There you go. Nice. Nice. Nice shooting. This is uh, pretty, pretty amazing here. Snow geese are up. You can hear them over there, right there. Moving some mojos around. This is a spread today. It's a full body silo mix. There's Canada silos, spec silos, duck full bodies, snow goose full bodies, and one, two, three, four, five mojos. Actually, lucky ducks. Excuse me. Here come the snows. Two? Two snows in the bag, baby. Yes. Sweet. That's the first snows of the year. Love it. Yeah. And I had the camera on. <sighs> Front right, over top. Right side. Swing and a miss. We're good. Get ready. Get ready out front. Yo. Oh, one. Watch that second one. Watch that one. I want to call that them things. Amount of juvies. It's uh, pretty incredible. It's gonna be a good snow goose here, that is for sure.
Look what that bismuth does to those things. <laughs> Two and three quarters smashing them still? Dude. Pillow cased them. Whoa. That was a big group. That was the biggest decoy group all day. Dude, if you guys are liking it, you know what to do. Please, please, please smash the thumbs up button. How many? How many what? Likes? Yeah. Well, for a duck hunt like this, 4,000, 5,000? That'd be, that'd be a stretch. That'd be a blessing right there. It might be a stretch. I don't know. Up to you guys. <laughs> there we go. We're landing. We're landing. Nope. How'd you do? Hey. I missed three times. Shoot. You did? Yeah. On a widgeon. Man, they circle I think so, so many I times. Think. It took forever to work them birds. I know, that's crazy. It's really picked up. I am soaked. Muddy mess, but uh, we limited out on ducks. Couple bonus snows, baby. Good mixed bag. Uh, gadwall, widgeon, mallards, pintail. Uh, we just took all the brush off of the panels and like I told you we are out here middle of the field sorry for the rain on the lens here is the spread all the duck full bodies are close and we spread most of the geese out in family bunches tried to make it as big as we could with minimum decoys and they loved it again guys please smash the thumbs up season's here I hope you guys are getting out there enjoying it already can't believe it's literally almost November by the time you're watching this, it might be November. Well, on the road again uh, with Mr. Russo. Uh, finding, finding duck feeds, finding snow feeds, I'm kind of moving around. It absolutely. I don't want to say poured on us all morning, but boy, it never really let up. Uh, Alex said that they called for like, what was it, like a eight quarter inch of rain, and definitely got well over half to probably three quarter an inch. I don't know. There's a lot of new sheet water. Uh, tomorrow the the fields are going to be really bad. I didn't film it on the way out today, but Preston and Austin they got stuck on the road. We got stuck. We had to pull each other out with the with it side by side with tracks on it. So doing some scouting, we're gonna head back. Like I said, uh, when we get back, I'm gonna show you the lodge and, and go through everything and just give you a tour really and show you what Flatland's all about. Well, I told you I would uh, walk you guys around and show you the place. Uh, we're not gonna make it up to the actual lodge today. Um, the first time when I brought Beth here, if you go back on those videos, we stayed at the lodge and I showed the entire process, the entire lodge. So you got to go back and watch that video. It was from the exact same time a year ago, a year ago today. Uh, but this is uh, Alex's guide shack here. And I wanted to show you it because it is just the <laughs> dude central out here. It's perfect. Uh, look at the big kitchen they got. It's awesome, beautiful couch area, big screen, look at all their stud mounts. Uh huh. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this blue. Uh huh. Yep. Oh yeah. Uh, one bedroom. And then it's got two baths. Really nice baths. This one, bath. So, basically what I'm getting at, you see how nice the guide shack is? You can only imagine how nice the lodge is. One of the nicest lodges I have ever been to in my life. Put it that way. And their meals are just as good as the hunting. Uh, this is me and P. Diddy's spot. Uh, this was me for the last two days, P. Diddy. I slept really good. But I'm going to take you outside to where all the magic happens, honestly. This is uh, where everything gets done, where all the hard work happens. This is the chill area every night uh, where, where you sit as a team and you come up with the best plan after scouting every single night. And it's, uh, it's a team effort. It's got to be camaraderie here got to be plan making no bsing lots of bsing but no bs you got to get serious and have you a couple options for plans some old decoys that al said he don't use anymore awesome old full bodies look at all of his federal ammo uh-huh 
That's actually who's been hunting with us the last two days. Uh, Brian, a couple guys from uh, Federal, uh, actual a rider from Ducks Unlimited, so really neat. And yeah, they use the Lucky Ducks, y'all. Holy cow. Always having a bunch out in the spread. The ducks love it here. Love it. But I'm going to show you this. This is where all their personal dogs stay every single night. And then this is what I want to do in the guide shack. I want all of us to have our own lockers. The clients at my lodge have their own lockers, but as guides, man, you really need one just to keep all your stuff together. <sighs> because this year, just like them, you got to have our own space now. Last year, you know, I opened up a lot of the videos in the lodge, getting ready. I had my own locker. We're going to have a lot more people this year, so that's not an option. <laughs> How you feeling? Good. That was so fun. Yeah. This place is incredible. The hunting's incredible. The amount of birds up here is incredible. The amount of ducks. Yeah. Ducks, of ducks, ducks, ducks. That's what I've been telling them at home is we got a lot of duck hunting fans on here. Yeah. Not really goose hunting fans. There's a lot of the goose hunting fans, but ducks. One thing they do that I love is they wait till the ducks are in your face and you have the easiest shot possible. They call them zero high shots. Nothing. If Only they're when they're like, fluttering. Yeah, they're like 20 yards. All like, of them. All of them decoying, all of them feet down. They're not out to get you your birds fast. They want you to shoot your birds hovering over the decoys. And I really wish we had the amount. Yeah. A quarter of the amount of ducks that they have. I know. Ugh. Well, we're back home and look who missed his dad. Hi, buddy. I miss you too. You ready to do some duck and goose hunting? He is. He will not leave my side. Well, Frederick, you're going to be guiding a lot today. He'll be guiding a lot this season. Uh, clients will be here less than a week. Crazy. Look where we're at. Uh-huh. Preston. Uh-huh. Oh, P. Diddy, uh-huh, he has claimed the camper. What's up? What's up? Claim the old camper, you like it? It's comfy. I know, it's nice. It's... I could live in here if I had, I mean, had to. Yeah, I feel like I'm on, like, the set of a movie. I feel like the director. I got the cameras and stuff. <laughs> Every morning walking Oh, out. yeah, this is your trailer. Yeah, this it's awesome, trailer. though. It is, it's me really and, nice. Me and Bert are going to have fun in here. Yeah, you and Bert are staying in here. Bert is our chef you guys have met bert on quite a few hunts uh and in cabo but check it out this is uh this is p diddy's spot man i don't know if a lot of you have seen it but uh this is where all the magic happens for old p diddy <laughs> <laughs> what do they always show that they always show the fridge on cribs oh yeah it's pretty organized lots of ranch for this guy lots of ranch that's actually not enough <laughs> But uh, just wanted to show you guys kind of a little sneak peek of what's to come. We have a lot coming down the pipe. Um, new trailers are here. This is Aaron's. Uh, you guys have met Aaron last year one time. Some of you. Uh, but he's one of the new guides. And we're pleased to have him. Everybody's going to be here at the lodge in literally a couple days. Uh, we got a lot to do. I'm literally going to have to sit down this camera and get to work. So, uh, I wanted to tell you guys... If you guys haven't checked out the podcast, you need to. We're giving away some Sandhill Flyaway hunts here. And uh, we're giving away another Snow Goose hunt here. And we're giving away a Spring Turkey hunt here. So, go over there. Join the podcast. These giveaways are for the podcast subscribers only. Uh, the podcast is always linked down below. Do you have anything to add about the podcast? Uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah well, it's a hoot. This year, it's going to pick up a lot because guide season's coming around we have new people coming in a lot of interesting people coming in that hunt all over the country so that's like my favorite part is we get them on the podcast see what hunting's like where they are because it's different everywhere and just kind of sit there and bs all night and then we have a lot of special guests that roll through yeah we have joel we have joel coming through. joel joneses and we have another photographer coming through we have a uh my buddy from texas the pig hunter the yeah texas killer aiming team uh man Outlaw might come through. Uh, Banjo's probably going to come down. Uh, it's going to be a hoot. So, if you guys want to get in on the giveaways and check out the podcast over there, we can be ourselves. We are very raw over there. I can be myself. I can say what I want. We can have some beverages. 
it's not just uh, and I also wanted to say it's not just it's not an audio there is an audio version once you subscribe you can listen to the audio version if you're going down the road in your car but it is all video podcasts just like the big ones out there it's really nice we try to do it well so if you want to see the other side of Bobby that y'all haven't seen on the channel go join that but subscribe if you haven't smash the notification button down there and please guys if you enjoyed this video I really ask you to just smash a thumbs up button for me and pity we have been traveling our butts off and we were just talking about it man it's good to be back and we're not leaving we're home no more road trips no more flying I, it was fun flatland amazing Alaska all these things but we are ready to do our guide we are ready to do our guiding here in Kansas. Thank you all for being here, but until next time.